Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to build the digital clock using the JavaScript. So now let's get started. Okay, so create a div with the class name container. And inside our container, we got the first spam giving an ID. So this spam, we're gonna hold the hours. And we got the next spam giving the comma. The next spam giving an ID minute, so this is going to be hold the minute. Another spam, comma, another spam giving an ID seconds, this is going to be hold the seconds. Lastly, is the sections, so this will depend whether it's AM or PM. Right, so we go for our CSS file to style the body tag. Can set for margin 0%, padding 0%, set the background color to black, and we can style the container. So we can set the font family to area, and the color can set to white. The font Y can set to bold. Set the position to absolute. For the top, we set to 50%. Left, 15%. Transform, translate, negative 15%. Negative 50%. Okay, lastly, which is to set the font size to 70 pixels. Right, so let us just open the default browser. So this is the hours and this is the minute, this is the seconds and this is the sections. Depends whether it's AM or PM. So now we'll go to our JavaScript file. Okay, we can create a functions keyword and the function name. Display the time. Okay, with a bracket and query braces. Inside the query braces is to execute our block of code to be executed. Okay, so we can create a date time, new, date. So this is the date object, and we got the variable hours. And this hour, we're gonna hold the date time, get hours. So this hr, hrs, we're gonna hold the hours. And we got another variable, minute. That time get minute. So this minute will hold the minute. Lastly, the second. So that time get second. Right. So the last one, which is the sections, equals to document. Sorry. Dot get element by ID. Okay, so this we get the idea from this section. So let us just copy this, paste it over here. Right, and we can using document get element by ID to pass through this spam. So we can grab this hour, paste it over here in a HTML and pass by these hours. Right, and we do the same same trick. Okay, which is the minute in a HTML, pass by the minute. Okay, the last one is the second. Okay, in a HTML, pass by the second. Right, so let us just go back our file and refresh this. Okay, you have to set the interval and calling this function name display time and pass by 10 so this is known as the milliseconds so now let's go back and refresh this and you will see that this is the time okay 3 hours 56 48 seconds am right so the am is definitely the section is been messed up so we can use if else to check if your hours is greater or equals to 12 we can say that the sections in the HTML to pass by PM. 
right? Else your hours is lesser than 12. You can set section in HTML to pass by AM. Right, so go back and refresh this. You will see that it's going to be return PM. Right, and you can be using the 24 hours format. So use another if statement to check if the hours is greater than 12 hours goes to hours, okay, minus by 12. Okay, so this is going to be returning the 24 hours format. So let us just refresh this again. You see that it's going to be returning 3, 57 minutes, 45 seconds PM. Right, so that's it for this tutorial and hopefully you learn something from this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.